All right, Jeff. So as I promised you earlier, I'm gonna get, I was gonna, I'm gonna have three different payment options for you. Okay. Now you told me that $2,500 is what you want to put down. So here are your price options with $2,500 down. With a $2,500 initial investment, okay, at 48 months, your payments are between $548 and $565. Okay. The the good thing that most people really like about this option is that similar to the mortgage industry you get to take advantage of the opportunity to pay it off much quicker. In the mortgage industry right now, the rates are much lower than they've ever been. So people are going in, taking advantage of the lower rates, but coming out with the same payment. Why? By the payment being the same and the rates being lower, more money is going towards the principal. They're able to pay it off a lot quicker, build equity sooner, and get that deed free and clear. So we give you the same exact opportunity. At 48 months, you can pay it off quicker, build equity sooner, and get that title free and clear in your hand much a lot faster. Now, the next option we have at, with a $2,500 initial investment is at 72 months. Now, 72 months, the payments are significantly less than 48 months, but a lot flexible also. They're between $400 and $418. The reason why they're comfortable is because they are much less, but why they're flexible is because you can take advantage of the same exact benefits of 48 months. There's no prepayment penalty, so you can pay it off sooner. You can build equity much faster. The only difference is you can do it at your own pace. Now, at 60 months, people refer to this as the best of both worlds. It's significantly a little bit higher than 72 months, significantly less than 48 months, but you still get the benefits of paying it off sooner and building equity faster. Those payments are between $459 and 477 okay now now let me also explain you the overall savings that you get on this when you at, at 60 months at 60 months you'll be saving one thousand three hundred and thirty two dollars that can stay in your pocket you know as opposed to at 72 months and at 48 months you're saving two thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars that's a that's a thousand twenty six hundred dollars you get to keep in your pocket just by taking advantage of paying it off a lot sooner the only thing I need for you to do, Jeff, is to be able to circle which one of those work best for you and initial right here at the bottom, and I'll go ahead and get the detail department to get your vehicle shine, buffed, and ready to ride. We're going to go for 60 months. All right. All right. Now, I do want to go shop around, see if there's maybe a better deal down the road or a different vehicle I might like. Okay. Yeah, I totally understand that. Um, as far as shopping around, as far as the vehicle goes, Everything about the vehicle, the vehicle itself, works. Vehicle and fine. Just want to see if there's something might catch my eye. Okay. And, and shopping around, and most people want to shop around. At the end of the day, making an investment like this, you want to make sure you're getting the bus bang for your buck, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And in truth, it all boils down to the money. Am I right? Yeah. Um, shopping around, you want to make sure you're getting the best possible price that's out here and available, don't you? You are just like everybody else. It makes you a normal human being want to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, though, I'm going to arm you with some information that will help you out doing your shopping around. Matter of fact, I'll even provide you with a, with a map, okay, with the addresses and the locations of the other Ford stores in the area to help you out. But I want to share with you some information that you may already know, but I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't share it with you, okay? Uh, the top six automotive dealer groups out there, you yeah, have Lithium Motors, Group One, Asbury, uh, Penske, and Sonic, uh, and Auto Nation. Okay, these are the top six, and they're all publicly traded companies. Mm -hmm. And they list their annual uh, reportings and their quarterly reportings online. Okay, now when they list these, they actually list uh, how much money is made on the vehicles. Because let's face it, there's no such thing as the highest price dealership all the time. Just like there's no such thing as the lowest price dealership. Because whoever the highest price dealer is, they're losing customers, which means they'll go out of business. Whoever the lowest price is, they're losing money, they'll go out of business. Which means that all of the dealerships, all of us in the area, are right there in the middle. Now, which one and what's the difference between the highest and the lowest? Don't know. Let's see. But I will tell you this. Any dealership that's saying that they have the lowest price and... They're just throwing it out there because there's no way for them to know who's got the lowest price. They have no idea what another dealership will do, which is why someone like yourself, I want to make sure you have all the information to help you make the best possible decision so you can be as educated as possible when you're doing this, okay? These companies all report their records online. So what I've done is I've actually printed out 
the financial reports of each one of those customers, or each one of those dealer groups, okay? Got these available for you. So let's start off with Penske, one of the top ones. Okay, now as you can see, Penske, their gross profit on their vehicles is 5%, okay? For AutoNation, their gross profit on their vehicles is also at 5%. The gross profit for AutoNation is at 5.3%. For Sonic is 6.2%. For Group 1, the gross profit margin on the new vehicles, make sure I find it right here on my sheet, uh, got my glasses on, okay, is 5.1%, alright? So, what that means is that the difference between all of them was between 6.2 and 5%, okay? So, the median in between that, that's a 12 point difference, so about 5.6% is the average, okay? So the difference between the highest and the lowest is about, you know, 1.2%. So the asking price on your vehicle out the door was 24,05460. So 20,54,60. Do me a favor, multiply 24,54,60 by 1.2. For it. Not Here you go, you can use mine. So go ahead, 24054 1.2 and then hit the percent sign. $288. $288. Okay? So, okay, now in order for you to be able to decide which one's the highest and who's the lowest, um, and to be able to save that $288, here's what you have to do. Okay? You have to leave out of here, you have to drive over to, uh, to Pascagoula and go over to um, um, uh, 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 Easterbrook Ford, okay? And go to Easterbrook Ford, sit with the sales guy for another two, three hours or whatnot. And then you're going to drive another 30 miles over to Butch uh, Osterson Ford and sit with their sales guy for a couple of hours. Then you want to make sure you drive out to Henderson Ford to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck, okay? And so you're going to have to hit all of these different dealerships, sit with different sales reps to go through a process for two, three, maybe four hours just to save you, to find out that you save yourself $288. The thing is though, they're not going to give you $288 in cash. You're not going to get two $100 bills, four 20s, one five, and three ones. What's going to happen is this $288 will be broken up over the 60 months that you've elected. So do me a favor. Divide 288 by 60. Okay. So let me ask you, Jeff. Now, $4.80. $4 now, if you feel that it's worth it, to drive, to go to three or four different four stores, sit through two, three, four hours of sales presentations, none which is as, as, as good and as, as friendly as I am, to be able to save yourself $4.80 by all means, shame on me, some of them must have did wrong. Or you can initial right there, let me go ahead and get our service department, get this thing shine, prime, buffed and ready to go and get you all right and enjoying your vehicle. Let's do the deal. <laughs>